The last time the Eagles played the Rams, Carson Wentz was lost for the season with a knee injury. Philadelphia tries to salvage its playoff hopes in Week 15, crossing the country for a Sunday night football appearance in LA. Steve, what stats are going to give betters the edge for this primetime matchup? I think there's got to be some concern if you're a Rams fan. You look at Jared Goff's stats the last two games, 37 for 77, 387 total yards, one touchdown, five interceptions. It's reminiscent of his rookie season with Jeff Fisher. <laughs> The defense, though, has been a lot better since Akeem Talib came back. They've allowed only 31 points the last couple games, about 300 yards per game, and created five turnovers in those two. But the offense has to get going, and it's got a great matchup to do just that. Eagles have basically no secondary left, and we saw Dak Prescott take advantage of that, put up 434 passing yards. Yeah. This one over here, Rams, minus 8.5. It jumped up to minus 9.5 despite that loss in Chicago last night. This is the second straight road game for Philadelphia after that just what is a crushing, gutting loss in Dallas on Sunday. Holes in the secondary, they showed up big on those big plays, but really Philly did a lot of things right and probably should have won that game. Uh, many could be surprised this line if you, if you look at the Eagles' resume here. Their best win of the season seems to be a 2016 victory at home over the Colts back in Week 3. That's their best win on the season. Yeah, total for this game, 54.5 points. It seems like one of these correlated parlay games. The Eagles can't afford to get into a shootout, so if you're betting the Eagles, you want to parlay it, parlay it with the under. If you're looking for the Rams to cover this big spread, Rams and over. <laughs>